What's up guys, I'm Jerry and in this video I'm going to explain how to create gradient in Android and also how to give gradient to the shapes in Drawable and let's start. So I have, I have already created a project and I'm using the latest Android Studio version 3.0.1 and uh, now for creating gradient we uh, will create it under the Drawable folder and for that I'm going to create a new drawable resource file and uh, I'm going to name it as Canadian. Okay. And I'm going to go to text section. Yep. And uh, I'm going to open an item tag. Item tag. And inside the item tag open sh uh, shape. Um, I'm going to give a rectangle shape. And inside the shape tag, we will open a gradient tag. And uh, first, uh, in the gradient tag, I'm going to give the start color. The color the, at least there should be two colors in a gradient. So there will be a start color and an end color. So first, I'm going to give a start color. And then I'll Color somewhere here. Oops. Then an end color. This will be the uh, second color. And yep. And also uh, we have to give an angle so that we can adjust the uh, angle of the gradient. I will show that right now. Uh, okay, now the gradient is from um, left to right, and I'm going to change the angle to 45, so it will be from corner to corner. Yeah, then I can give it to 90 degree to from bottom to top. Then one 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 three five to be from this corner to this corner. Like that, you can change the uh, angle to get your desired gradient and uh, let's see how to implement in our layout uh, I'm just going to give uh, 200 to be width uh, 200 to be height uh, and this is good. Yep. and I'm going to uh, so if, you, if I want to set a gradient for this text view how to implement it as background and draw the gradient. See now that works. Uh, that this text view has a gradient. Okay, but uh, if I need a uh, background screen to have the uh, gradient, I have to give the give the gradient to this constraint layout. Uh, background draw the gradient. The whole of the whole screen. Uh, you know, you can see the gradient in the whole screen. You can give a certain uh, set uh, just a background. Now, okay, so we implement a gradient by using a start color, an end color, and an anchor. You can also give a center color if your gradient has a center color. You can also give that also. Center color, uh, see the color will appear at the center of the both of those. So, just going to give it a sample color. Yep, so the gradient will have three colors now. Like that, you can um, adjust these colors to get your desired uh, gradient. Uh, and right now, I'm not going to use the center color. Okay. Also, you can change the shape. If you want a circular shape, you have to give a shape as the oval. And uh, you can see set the size. If you want a circular size, a circular shape, you have to set the size. Uh, same width and height so that you can get. A circular, circular gradient. So now it will be a circle in, in this uh, here, uh, and uh, I can also change that into ring if you want. Ring, use level four, and registration You can set it as a ring. Yep. So now you will learn how to create a gradient and how to make a gradient 
inside uh, any shapes and uh, how to implement it in a layout. I don't know this is thing. But now we all can have to do that. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. It's very simple. You can uh, just uh, choose a star color and end color, view it and adjust the angle to get your desired gradient. So I hope you like this video. Uh, if you have any doubt, come in, uh, ask me in the comments. And uh, I have also other videos on how to create shapes and everything. Uh, check that out. Check that out. Check also that. Out. And uh, please subscribe for uh, get new videos. So that's it. And see you on the next one.